this section what we're going to be looking at is working out time intervals between two given times. And this might be one of the things that you wonder why would you ever need to know. Well one example I've given here is journey times. You could also want to know how long a film is going to last. You might need to know if, if you put something in the oven at one time and you take it out at another time how long it's been in the oven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at some examples and I've got a four step, well actually a five step guide here that's going to guide you through how we do this. So I'm going to start here. You could use this as an example of a school day. So you can imagine a school day starts at nine o'clock and then the lunch starts at 12.45. So we want to work out the time interval between 9 a.m. and 12.45. So the first step here is to subtract the hours and write this down. So that's nine and that's 12. So we just subtract them from each other. So 12 take away nine is three. So we would have three hours. And then we subtract the minutes. So it's 45 and zero. So we take them away. 45 take away zero is just 45. And step three says, are the minutes in the first time less than the minutes in the second time? Well, the answer is yes. So we already have the answer. This is a pretty easy one here. This one is a little bit more difficult. But we'll go through it. The first step we do is to subtract the hours and write it down. So we do 18 take away 14, which is four hours. That's the hours. And then we subtract the minutes. So we've got 22 and we've got nine. So when we take those away from each other, we get 13 minutes. So we've subtracted the hours, then we've subtracted the minutes. The next question asks, are the minutes in the first time less than the minutes in the second time? Well, the answer in that time is no. We have to go in here. So what we do here is we subtract one from the hour. So instead of being four hours, it becomes three hours. And then we calculate 60 take away these minutes. So we do 60 take away 13, which is 47. So 60 take away 13, which is 47. And that's our answer. I'm going to do another few. Okay, this time imagine, this is fictitional. Imagine that we get on a bus from Glasgow at this time. Uh, we arrive in Inverness at this time. I'm not sure exactly how it would normally work, how long it would normally take. But we'll imagine we're leaving Glasgow at this time and we're arriving in Inverness at this time and we're going to work out the journey time. So we'll just go through the steps. So the first step is to subtract the hours and write this down. So we're just doing the 11 take away 7. And that's four hours. And then the next step we subtract the minutes and write it down. So 50 take away 20 is 30. And then it asks, are the minutes in the first time less than the minutes in the second time? Well, the answer is no. So we're going to step five. So if not, subtract one from the hour. So that will become three. And then calculate 60 take away that number. So 60 take away 30 is in fact just 30. So we already have an answer there. So that would be three hours and 30 minutes. And this one here, we'll imagine a train this time going from Edinburgh to London. And again, it's not based on accurate times. I've just made this up. So we'll go through the stages. We subtract the hours and write this down. So we've got 18 and we've got 12. So we subtract them from each other and we get six hours. That's the first step. Then we subtract the minutes. So we do 59 take away 12. So 59 take away 12 is 47. So I'll just write that down, 47 minutes. And are the minutes in the first time less than the minutes in the second time? Well, yes, because 12 is less than 59. So in this case, we already have the answer. So it's six hours and 47 minutes. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple to try. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you try these two yourself and see how you get on. So what to do is just pause, get a screenshot, make sure you have the list of steps, 
and we've got this time interval to work out and this time interval to work out. We'll pause and then I'll go over it. Let's see how you got on. So in this first one here, first thing you do is subtract the hours and write it down. So you do 23 take away 13, so that's 10 hours. In the next step, you subtract the minutes and write this down. So we've got 24 and we take away 17, which actually gives me just seven minutes. So I'll write this down. Are the minutes in the first time less than the minutes in the second time? Well, the answer is no, they're actually more. So what we do is we subtract one from the hour so instead of being 10, it becomes 9. And then calculate 60, take away 7. So we do 60, take away 7, which is 53 minutes. So I'll just, I'll just write that in there. So that's your first one. The next one here. We'll go through the steps. We subtract the hours, so we've got 9 take away 4, which is 5 hours. Subtract the minutes, so we've got 50 take away 41. So 50 take away 41 is just 9. So I'll write this down. Are the minutes in the first time less than the minutes in the second time? The answer is yes. So in this case, we already have the answer. Hopefully you all got that and that all made perfect sense. Please like, please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!